first and foremost giving our praises on and glory unto the most high Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai Bahasham Makakadash that will honor to the apostles and the elders that surely do rule by that great stone. Peace and salutation to the sincere brethren of the pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. So shalom to the humble and sincere sister of there as well. This one will be entitled, you know, just Deuteronomy. Alright, chapter 30, verse 1 through 8. You know, and I'll bring out a couple other precepts to, you know, really back it up. But, you know, we will get into it and show that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is indeed a fair God. You understand? He is a fair power. His judgments are absolute. His judgments are righteous. His judgments are perfect in all ways. He makes no errors in the things that he does. Right? Many of his decrees might offend. You know, many of his judgments might cause us pain. But ultimately, it's really according to perfection, to righteousness, you know, to, to, to that, that divine, you know, judgment. And in his judgments, right, we will find balance. So they do Deuteronomy 30 verse 1 and say, and it shall come to pass. When all these things, all these curses that are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse, which I have said before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations with that the Lord thy power had driven thee. Right? So it says, when all these things come upon us, right? So all the blessings and the curse, right? All these curses come upon us, which the Lord had said before thee. You will call to mind, thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, right? So in the land of our captivities, right? In the land of our persecution, we will remember Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? He said, with the Lord thy power had driven thee. Right, so the Lord say what? You know, you get in Deuteronomy 28, 64. It says, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Right? So we will serve other gods, wood and stone. You scatter us among the heathen, right? Verse 68. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way of by the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond women and no man shall buy you right so this is the dispersion right the lord scattering israel among all the nations right with the lord thy power had driven thee this two it says and thou shalt return unto the lord thy power and shalt obey his voice according to all that i commanded that this day thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul so in the land of our captivity we would then turn our hearts back to our bashim shy when all these curses are upon us and you know we come to realize that this is what unrighteousness leads to. This is what following after the serpent leads to. It leads to death. It leads to pain. It leads to sorrow. It leads to all manner of pain. Right? We would then come to the realization that in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is life. And all the goodness of life is joy, is happiness, is peace, is rest. You understand? When you turn back to the Mosai, the street, say then... That then the Lord thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather from thee or gather thee from all the nations within the Lord thy power that scattered thee. Right? So you see the Lord we're gonna gather us, you know. Um in Revelation chapter 5. Verse 9 is saying they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to Yahweh by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. You understand? They will get um I will get Isaiah chapter eleven, verse eleven. 
It said, It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Patrus, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shina, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Right? So this is the Lord. The Lord going to redeem us. He's going to bring us back and gather us from all of these, from all these nations. Um, I believe is. Ezekiel 36 verse 17 it says son of man when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land they defiled it by their own way they broke the Lord's statutes and commandments and by their doings their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it and I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings i judged them right jump to verse um 24 it's if i will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land so out of all countries so israel which are the so-called blacks hispanics and native americans are dwelling through all the four corners of the earth in every country and on all islands We've been completely dispersed, nowhere to call home. You understand? We're just all over the place. So you say he would um, gather us from what? Verse 24, it says, I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you back into your own land. He will bring us back into Israel. You understand that it's being occupied by those Khazars, by those fake Jews, you know, by the Edomites. It say, I read over verse 3, it say, Then the Lord thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy power hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. So there is no distance that the Lord can't reach. You know, in these last days when these chariots come, you understand uh, revelation 18 come out of my people that that is yeah, that is referring to the physical deliverance of the israelites by the way by way of the chariots of the lord which are the ufos you understand and we're gonna be beamed out beamed up out of this great destruction that coming to before the youth right so and it's scriptures i was just reading isaiah 11 you know the Lord is going to redeem us from all places, the islands of the sea, all nations, because we've been scattered all over. The scripture shows that the Lord had care for his elect. They are, not, the elect is not just in Babylon, the elect is in North America, Central, South, in the Caribbean, in all different continents, maybe in Antarctica. The elect is through all the four corners preaching this word. Right? The Lord ain't going to forget them, he's going to deliver them too. You understand? Um, verse 4 If any of thine be driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. You understand? And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. Now, what is that talking about? That is actually talking about this. <coughs> no. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. It says, For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, say the Lord, and I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. 
For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, say the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, say, Know the Lord. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. You understand Ezekiel? Ezekiel 36 verse 25 Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also I will give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart of your flesh and I will give you an heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my judgments and do them. You understand? So this is what it was um, being spoken of in Deuteronomy 30. This is actually referring to that new covenant. The Lord said he will what circumcise that heart. He will cause us to keep the Lord's statutes and commandments. He will remove the stony heart of flesh. He would remove us from you, remove our spirits from this wicked carnal flesh and give us what? A heart of flesh. Give us those immortal bodies. You understand? And with those immortal bodies, right us in those immortal bodies the new covenant would be established a covenant of true perfection where we would be to the lord a people and he would be to us a power we would no longer have to teach and it, it say that here, um he would circumcise the heart of thy seed as well so we no longer have to teach our children and teach others saying know the lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest and that is the new covenant that will be established with us. Alright. Um, you see, we will multiply us above our fathers because we will be greater than our ancestors. We will be in that true form. We would have accomplished the mission that we set out to do. And the reward that we will be receiving would be a reward like no other. You understand? more than the, the human mind could even fathom. Verse 6, verse 7, it says, And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee. And thou shalt return, uh, we read with verse, verse 7 here, it says, And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and upon them that hate thee which persecuted thee. So, hey, the Lord, all these curses that the Lord placed upon us, He's going to put it on our enemies. You understand? Um, right, book Isaiah. I'll start at... 12 it says for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yet those nations shall be utterly destroyed right you know i'll, I'll go up even further um, verse 9 it says surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of tarshish first to bring thy sons from afar their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the lord thy power unto the holy one of israel because he had glorified thee and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee for in my wrath i smote thee but in my favor have i had mercy on thee you understand so in his wrath he smote us in his wrath the most high judged us harshly but righteously right and even in his wrath and with his wrath he gave us death but in his favor he will show us mercy right and the sons of strangers in it and the kings imagine the kings of their nation will be a servant unto you a king will be your servants Kings will be your servants. 
11 he said therefore thy gates shall be open continually they shall not be shut day or night that men may bring unto thee the forces of the gentiles that the kings may be brought for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations shall be utterly wasted and that the government that the government that the nation israel that will be established in the earth that if they would not bow down to the people of the lord right if they won't bow down to yahweh if they won't conform unto the lord and to his people if they won't accept them as the rulers of the earth then guess what they shall be utterly destroyed Verse 13, the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together the, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons of the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all thee that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, right? All these bywords, all these names that they came up for us, came, came up with for us, right? All these stereotypes they have placed on us. We are looked at as the, the scum of this world. You understand? We are the lowest of all the nations, you know? We are looked at as, 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 as nothing, right? We are the ones, imagine, being reputed as nothing. And say, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Saviour, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, for, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace. And an exact as righteousness. You understand? So, <clears throat> um, imagine we say for brass, I'll bring gold, and for iron, I'll bring silver, right? It's just gonna be a complete boost in the kingdom of heaven, right? It's gonna be a, just, just a complete boost. We will suck the milk of the Gentiles, all the gold that they have right now. It belongs to us. Gold belongs to Israel. Right? All the rubies, all the good things of this earth belongs to Israel. We are we get the lion's share. You understand? We get first dibs on all things. We would be the rulers of this earth. The mighty men. The giants in this earth would be Israel. Revelation chapter 3 verse 9 Behold I will make them of the synagogue of Satan which say they are Jews and are not but do lie Behold I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee so he would make those that say they are of the synagogues of Satan that say they are, they are Jews so like, yeah but are of the synagogues of Satan to worship before thy feet. Right? Come sit um, sit at thy right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. You understand? This is the judgment. This is the fate of Esau and the fate of these other nations. They're going to go into slavery. And all these curses Right, read Deuteronomy 28. Right, those are the curses that pertain to the Israelites. When just now, in the right, when the kingdom of heaven is soon to come, all those curses will be on Esau, will be on these other nations, and their and their, their seed, on their old ones, on their little ones, their men, their women, their whole nation. Right. They will groan for anguish and they will be in continual pain and sorrow. Pain in the mind, pain in the spirit, pain in the flesh. Till they be destroyed. You understand? 
the book of revelation 2 verse 25 but that which ye have already hold fast till i come and he that overcome it and keep it my works unto the end to him will i give power over the nations and he shall rule them so like who can i will give power over the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as i received of my father you understand so wait that that, that way true in you one of the curses is that what they would be the head and we would be the tail but those that overcome we would now become the head and then they would be the tail right so it's showing you know, that the curses will be placed upon them right they will go back down into the dust sit down in the dust babylon you understand come sit down in the dust come sit down in the dust <coughs> The book of Baruch 4 verse 25 and I'll close off here. It says, My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from your hour. Right? Because it is true judgment we deserve it. It says, For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O ye my children. I cry unto her, how for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from your hour, so be in return seek him ten times more. For he that had brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Right? Um, I'll keep reading it says, Miserable are they that afflicted thee And rejoice at thy fall Miserable are the cities which thy children served Miserable is she that received thy sons For as she rejoiced at thy ruin And was glad of thy fall So shall, be she, so shall she be grieved For her own desolation For I will take away the rejoicing Of her great multitude And her pride shall be turned into mourning for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. You understand? Hey, Kalalaya me abashemi awushai. The judgment that befell us for our disobedience. When we turn back unto the Lord, hey, the Lord gonna forget all the sins that we committed, and we will be um, rewarded a righteous reward. And for those that afflicted us, for those that, you know, did all those atrocities unto us, they will receive of the things that we receive, you understand? And I'll just bring out this last precept and I'll close up. The Revelation 18. <coughs> 4, it says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of my people that she be not partakers of her sins, and that she receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven. And Yahweh had remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she had filled. Fill to her double. And with that giving all praises and glory unto the Most High. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Racha Kodash Shalom.